Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor with TechCrunch TV. I'm here at Lit Motors HQ in San Francisco. Uh, standing with me is Ryan James, who's the Chief Marketing Officer of Lit Motors. Let's just get right down to it. What is this thing? You guys have a brand new device that you're, that you're funding here. Yeah, this is our electric cargo scooter, Kubo, that we uh, just launched a couple weeks ago on Kickstarter and we are going to be, uh, begin production in April of next year. Okay, and now Lit Motors, we first became acquainted with you guys at Disrupt when you came out with the C1, which is sort of a little electric car. Um, this is very different. Can you tell me, you know, what is this for? This is basically something that was born out of necessity for us getting around the city. Uh, we're all big uh, cyclists, scooter riders, motorcyclists. But there's just not really any good way to carry a bunch of stuff with you as you're getting around on two wheels. I mean, you can throw things in a backpack or use like saddlebags or whatever, um, but it makes handling more difficult. Um, it's often not all that safe, not all that convenient. We wanted to make a vehicle that you could actually carry things with. Okay, give me the specs then. You know, how, how far does this go? How fast does it go? How much can I carry? Uh, it'll go up to about 45 miles an hour and 50 miles per charge. Uh, it's got an onboard charger. Uh, so you can just plug it into any standard wall outlet and it charges in just a few hours. And it'll carry up to about 300 pounds uh, rider and cargo. So, you know, depending on the size of the rider, that is a serious amount of cargo. And you're carrying that in a 22 inch square cargo space. So that's this space down here. It's 22 inches vertically and uh, horizontally and then as wide as you can balance, really. Uh, and that space has a variety of different ways to secure things. So there's hooks down here, there's loops all around that you can uh, run cargo straps through or uh, use bungee cords, things like that. And then we also put these cargo rails in here that you can put threaded inserts into and then bolt things down uh, onto. And you know, once you see it, it seems so logical, it makes so much sense you know, to have more space on a scooter. Why had no one done this before, is there something that you guys figured out with this design? The concept was originally come up with by uh, an industrial designer named Elliot Ortiz mm -hmm. as part of a uh, kind of school project. And then um, a few years later, he and our founder, Danny, and this other guy, Zach Levenberg, uh, built the first one. Uh, they actually uh, carved the body out of pink foam and cobbled the rest of the parts together from a cannibalized Vespa and a couple of kids' BMX bikes. Uh, and from there, we just kept on uh, iterating and iterating until we uh, got to this one. And what's the feedback been like on Kickstarter? I know you're looking to raise 300 grand, which is a lot of money, especially from, you know, a small company. What, what's the response been like? Uh, the response has been pretty good. Um, we uh, have sold about seven or eight scooters at this point, I believe, um, which, you know, is, is still... Uh, there's still a ways to go, um, but we still have a couple more weeks. Right. Um, but the response has been overwhelmingly positive. And so really, regardless of the out outcome of the campaign, uh, we're still definitely going to charge ahead uh, with the scooter and produce it I any like, way we can. I like what you said there, charge ahead <laughs> with, the, with the electric Pun scooter. Intended. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Um, great. I'd like to see it in action. Can we load it up and you can take it for a spin and show us how it works? Absolutely. Great. So you're going to take this around the block for a spin, right? Mm -hmm. But first, you know, what should someone know? This is like a little bit different, right, from a normal scooter? Yeah, so the steering looks really unique, but yeah. it actually ends up handling just about the same okay. as a normal scooter. I mean, yeah, so it moves around like that, but you're really only doing that if you're doing like a three-point turn. You know, like as you're going around, just like any other two-wheeled vehicle, you only move the handles a little bit, okay. and it's all about the lean. All about the lean. Okay. Were there any other kind of design considerations that you guys had to take into account because of this whole thing right here? We could have moved the seat forward and had the cargo behind, but then the cargo wouldn't have been as centered, and uh, that would have been kind of strange to sit so far forward. Um, moving the seating back actually ends up making it even more stable. Uh, you know, if you think of like riding around on uh, like a bicycle or a motorcycle, even. Um, you take your hands off the handlebars and if you lean back, it actually increases stability. It makes it easier to ride around uh, without holding onto the handlebars. Cool. Exciting. Well, let's, uh, let's put some things on it and then watch you go, I guess. Cool.